today we'll talk about the pathology of the breast and these are the common topics uh, that we are going to discuss today so uh, normal anatomy before the puberty the breast in both sexes um, um, doesn't have uh, uh, ducts there's a variable degree of branching a lack of lobules 15 to 25 lactifers ducts and um, uh, it starts in the nipple branch and uh, leads to terminal uh, ductal lobular unit, intralobular duct, multiple lobular ducts, and it's an eye and is hormonal response. At birth, male and female breasts are, have active secretion due to transplacental passage of hormone, and there's a bilateral breast uh, enlargement, clostrum like secretion, which is called as witch milk, and recedes after several months postpartum. And after menopause, there is a gradual and progressive involution, the lobular atrophy, increased fa uh, fat, and cystic dilation of the duct. Macromasia is a diffuse enlargement of both the breast, adolescence, or pregnancy, exaggerated response to hormonal stimulation. And in pregnancy, one in 100,000 pregnancies, there is erythematous edematous, and it's pain. Aplasia or hypoplasia, it's uncommon associated with overdevelopment of the contralateral breast, acquired uh, irradiation of chest wall tumors and unilateral or bilateral amazia, absence of nipple, breast, ducts, and pectoralis major muscle, and it's accelerated. Ectopic breast, supranumerary breasts uh, could be found, and 1 to 6 percent of the adult women, much less uh, often in uh, men, unilateral axillary uh, breast tissues. And there could be aberrant fat necrosis can simulate the carcinoma clinically and mammographically. History of antecedent trauma prior to the surgical intervention, histiocytes and foamy cells are seen, which are uh, lipid laden cells, and there could be fibrosis, calcification, and axial is seen on mammography. Hemorrhagic necrosis with coagulopathy is a uh, warfarin treatment shortly after initiation and. Uh, edema, hemorrhage, and necrosis seen, there's protein C deficiency, breast augmentation, you can see the foreign material, and silicon back could be seen. Purpural mastitis, early stages, second or third week of lactation, 5% of stasis of milk in distended duct with staphylococci, granulomatous lobular mastitis, etiology unknown, suggested carcinoma, memory duct ectasia, periductal inflammation, duct sclerosis, intermittent nipple discharge, tuberculosis, less developed uh, regions, serious conditions, lactating breast, and slow-growing uh, painless mass. Benign proliferative lesions, pathological spe uh, spectrum of seemingly related clinically benign breast abnormalities, palpably irregular and painful breast, uh, discrete lumps and multiple nodules, cystically dilated ducts, apocrine metaplasia, interlobar and interlobar uh, fibrosis. And you can see the fibrocystic change and disease. Adenosis is elongation of the terminal ductules and there's sclerosis, uh, sclerosing adenosis, apocrine adenosis, and tubular adenosis. Non palpable region recognized in mammograms and there could be microcalcification or macrocalcification. Fibroadenoma is proliferation of the epithelial and stromal elements and most common breast tumors in adolescents and young adult women. Higher incidence of the uh, in black patients. Well circumscribed, freely movable, non painful mass. Regress uh, with age if left untreated, ducts uh, distort elongated slit like structures, intraclanicular pattern, or a periclanicular uh, canalicular pattern could be seen. Tubular adenoma is um, a less common. Young women um, are uh, involved and there's a uniform sized ducts. Lactating adenomas, enlarging masses during the lactation or pregnancy, interductal papilloma. And uh, there is sub, uh, sub uh, areolar lactiferous ducts, periductal inflammation, and duct sclerosis could be seen. And bloody uh, discharge in the nipple is, is common. Cystosarcoma, phylloides, or phylloides tumor. Initial description over 150 years ago fleshy tumor and leaf like pattern when it's sliced and sits uh, cyst on the cut surface. Circumscribed connective tissue with epithelial elements, less than 1% of the breast tumors. Benign, malignant, low, and high grade, and metastasis are hematogenous. Proliferative changes there is ductal and lobular hyperplasia, atypical ductal and lobular hyperplasia, 
higher risk of cancer than normal population associated with microcalcification on mammography. Incidental histological finding and atypical hyperplasia and precancerous lesion could be seen. Most frequent malignant tumor is uh, breast carcinoma, highest incidence in developed countries, and uh, second uh, most common cause of death. Where is the first most common is lung cancer risk factor is genetic predisposition, proliferative changes, and importance of preventive control. So it could be classed as in situ, invasive, lobular, and ductal, and ductal in situ, ductal invasive, and there are few otherwise uh, could be lobular invasive as well. Carcinoma in situ is a pre invasive uh, tumor multicentricity and bilaterally so we need to keep an eye on them, on them and uh, need to be under surveillance and there's no metastatic spread and risk of invasion uh, depending on the grade of the tumor invasive ductal carcinoma is the largest group and mid to late 50s still eight white firm less often circumscribed soft medullary carcinoma hormonally dependent uniform uh, cells infiltrative growth pattern is other types are tubular, mucinous, medullary, inflammatory, metastasis, the regional lymph node, axillary, parasternal, and uh, lungs, liver, bones, brain. Treatment is surgery, radical mastectomy, breast conserving surgery, lumpectomy, radiotherapy, and hormonal therapy like uh, tamoxifen and chemotherapy. Pages disease of the nipple results in the intraepithelial spread of the intraductal carcinoma. Large pale staining cells within the epidermis of the nipple limited to the nipple or extend to the areola, pain on itching and scaling, redness and mistaken for eczema, ulceration, crusting and uh, serous or bloody discharge can be seen. Gynecomasia is um, most common clinical and pathological abnormality of the male breast and increases in the subalarial tissue and 30 to 40 percent of the adult male and uh, associated with medications, hyperthyroidism, chronic pulmonary disease, hypogonadism, estrogen, progesterone, spironolactone therapy. Thank you very much. Hope you have enjoyed the uh, discussion today.